Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another haul today because I did a few different orders last week and I'm just going to go through all of it. I've filmed try on clips already so I'm going to include those so you can see what everything looks like on as well. As you can see by the title this is just like a summer haul because I think there's four different shops that will be included in there. I keep buying all these clothes but I've not actually got any like plans for summer yet um, but this haul's quite casual there's nothing too like crazy in this haul. I'll leave the links to everything down below and also on my Instagram there'll also be more like styling videos or more try on videos of these things on Instagram and TikTok as well which are also down below. So I'm going to start with Motel, no surprise there that I've bought more stuff from Motel. I actually need to stop because every time they release a new collection I have to buy something. Like, there's never something I don't want to buy from Motel. But I got four things this time and three of them were in the sale. By the time this video goes up, I don't know if the same things will be in the sale, but I'll let you know what was in the sale and the price and everything. So I'm going to start with the tops that I got. So the first one, these are a little bit hard to show on camera when I'm not trying them on, but you'll see a try on clip um, as well. So I got this halter neck top. This one is like triple lined because um, obviously it's not ideal to wear a bra with it because it's got the mesh at the back um, but honestly it's so thick and it's so good. I think this one was £14 in the sale which is good for Motel. This one is quite like a simple top it just like goes down into a point towards the bottom but I've realised you can really dress this up. I tried to wear this as like a casual top the other day with a like black maxi skirt and it looked like a holiday outfit so I don't think it's quite as casual as I was thinking in my head but either way you can still dress it up or dress it down um it did look really nice with a long maxi skirt but I'll also wear it with just denim shorts or mini skirt it's gonna really try and show you the layers like you've got the first top layer one underneath and then an extra one like this is lined and then this next top I got from Motel is probably my most dressy top that I got in the whole haul so this was also in the sale this was £19 so it's this halter neck um top it just ties around the back you'll see in the try on clip so it's just got these bits that go around the front and then you just tie the straps at the back and this just like hangs down I really like this colour it's like a bluey grey I think it's really pretty this one is in a size extra extra small by the way and so was the other top. My only problem with this top is what to wear it to because as I said I've not got any plans at the moment and it's not really just a casual top you're gonna wear out on a walk. So I need to just kind of decide what I would wear it to, maybe like a concert. It would be a really beautiful holiday top like when you're going out for dinner in the evening that kind of thing. Again with a maxi skirt it would look really nice but I'll probably mostly wear it with a mini skirt or um, jeans. I've got some like low rise black cargos. It would go quite nice with as well, just like trainers. Okay, this next top is my favourite. This one was not in the sale and I think it's £26 full price. But I think it's worth it. It is a basic top, but it needs to be good quality. So it's this plain black top, um, but it's one of the open back ones. So... Obviously you want it to be fairly thick because you can't wear a bra with it. I really like how low the back is, like I think it's really pretty. They do this top in so many different colours as well. I kind of want to get more colours because I love it so much. But with the sizing with this one, I got it in extra extra small and it fits me and I'm going to keep this size. But if I did get another one, I would maybe get extra small just because it gets a little bit tight on the neck. And the thing is, that top is just going to go with absolutely everything, like jeans, skirt mini or maxi skirt, shorts, any kind of denim, it will just go so much so I think it's a really good basic to have. The last thing I got from Motel is a pair of like mum shorts. Now I did kind of only get these because they were £10 in the sale but they actually fit really nice, it's just the colour I'm not sure on. So they're this like pink colour, they look quite nice on camera but in person they're a little bit more of like that salmon colour whereas I'd prefer more of like a baby pink but they actually fit really well. They're in a size extra small because it was the only size left. I'd usually get an extra extra small but they actually fit really well and sit a bit low rise so I'm quite happy with the size that they are. Um, but yeah they, they're really good quality and everything 
they're not super long yeah they're a good length because i'm quite well i'm not really enjoying really short shorts this summer i'm preferring the whole like jorts vibe but these are a bit of an in-between but yeah let me know what you think about the color because i'm not sure but for 10 pounds they're really nice so i don't know next moving on to sisters and seekers so i've never actually bought anything from sisters and seekers before but i see them all over my instagram They've got this really nice jacket, um, it's like grey with blue kind of stripes going across the top um, and I almost got it but I just don't need any more jackets at the moment. So from Sisters and Seekers I got two bottoms, I got a pair of shorts and I got a skirt. Um, the skirt is my favourite thing ever, the shorts were in the sale for £9 and they're really nice as well. So this is the skirt. I got this in a size extra small slash small which is their smallest size um, and it fits me really well. I'm usually a size 4 um, slash 6 so if you need any size reference. It's got the black stripe going down both sides and at the bottom and then it's got these little like wing details in the corner. And then obviously it's got the shorts underneath which I love because the length I like to wear my skirts I wear quite short skirts otherwise I feel like they just look weird on me because I'm quite short so I love to wear a skirt if I can. Now that skirt was full price and it was almost £40 which is pricey but I do feel like the quality is just insane and I'm gonna wear it so much in the summer especially with all the different tops I've bought recently I've bought a lot of like black and white ones so they'll just go with them really well but like skirts are just practical like I don't like them when they've got the shorts at the back like visible I only like it if it looks like a skirt and then it's got the shorts underneath but it's so cute and I really like it with the um black motel top the low back one this one I feel like they go together really well. And then moving on to these shorts. So as I said, I got these in the sale because they were £9 just as like a little extra. And they're these ribbed nude coloured shorts. But they're really nice as well. They're really comfy. They've got the like badge at the back um, that says Sisters and Seekers. They are fairly high waisted. So sometimes I do like roll the band over because I kind of prefer how they look like that which does kind of hide the badge at the back because it like does this but I don't really mind I'd prefer them to like sit where I want them to sit but they're gonna just be great as like a chuck on short in summer so overall really happy with Sisters and Seekers and I will probably be buying more stuff from them. <laughs> Forgot to mention the shorts are a size 4 and they fit me really good. Moving on to ASOS I only got well I got one thing technically two things the reason I say that is because one of the things are these little bow hair bands but I'm not gonna like try these on I'm actually the worst person at doing hair so I'm gonna have to get someone else to put these in my hair but I just thought they'll be cute for like an Instagram picture the main thing I got was a pair of jorts now I've been on the hunt for a good pair of jorts for so long now and I still haven't found a pair I absolutely love but I think I'm gonna keep these ASOS ones because I don't think I'm gonna find a pair I absolutely love. I feel like it's so hard to get the perfect fit. So these are the ones I got from ASOS. So these are a size six, whereas I'd usually buy a size four, but I wanted them to be like as oversized as possible without them looking stupid. And they do fit well around the waist, like they fall lower like I want them to. They are like fairly long, like you'll see in the clip, but that is what I wanted, but these are a petite pair of shorts. So I'm just like, imagine if I got the regular pair. But yeah, that's just something to bear in mind that these are a size six petite. They're really thick, like I'm really happy with the quality. It's just styling them right. I feel like they need quite a little top. Um, I don't know, I I need to work out how to style them to get wear out of them. Like I don't want to end up looking like a dad at a barbecue. I want them to look cool. I feel like those kind of jorts are really good for like a simple festival outfit as well. Like if you just had a bikini top or a little bralette on with them, there's your festival outfit. And now the last part of the haul is Pull and Bear. I got three things from Pull and Bear and to be honest, this is like the most failed part of this haul because two of these things I think I am going to end up sending back whereas everything else I think I'm going to keep. Um, so I got a pair of shorts, well another pair of jorts, so I originally bought these Pull and Bear ones before I bought the ASOS ones, but they were just a bit of a fail, they weren't what I was looking for. And then I got a top and a bag. So if we start with the jorts, just so we can kind of compare them to the other ones. So these are the Pull and Bear ones, 
So I know they're a different vibe, like they've got the darts in the side, they're a bit more girly, but I think, well, the main problem probably is I sized up to a size six in these ones as well, where I should have stuck to a size four, but I wanted the oversized look, but I just don't think these are meant for the oversized look. I think they're meant to fit you. So yeah, these are a size six. They're a lot thinner. I don't know if you can tell, but like they're so thin, but I, I think that's like how they're meant to be. Like they're meant to be comfy and flowy. Um, so they are a lot comfier than the ASOS ones. The ASOS ones are still comfy, but when you put these on, it's like, you can't really even feel them. And they've also got the like distressed bit down the bottom. I think the main problem is they just don't really fit me. And I picked the wrong kind of style. Like the way they've got the darts down the side, because they're also a bit big, just makes them look super puffy and it just doesn't look good. I wouldn't necessarily not recommend them. Like they are a nice pair of shorts. They just aren't suiting me and I I can't really give a proper kind of review on them because I didn't get my actual size. So they might have looked better in the size down. So next to the top, which is really cute, it's like this bandeau top with sequins through it. Again, really nice festival top. So it's got sequins all the way through and then this little knot in the middle. And it's also got those sticky bits, which helps it stay up. I got this in an extra small and it fits really well. Um, now, I don't know if it's just me because I've seen like everyone and their dog has this top and they're loving it and taking pictures in it and all look amazing in it. But I find it a little bit itchy, but I don't know if it's just me, but I think it might be because of the sequins. So yeah, that is all I'd say, a little bit itchy. That's not why I'm sending it back, it's not that bad i just feel like i'm not going to get the wear out of it and the last thing i got from pull and bear is this bag which i love i've been looking for a denim bag for ages couldn't find one that wasn't just like completely plain um and then i found this one on pull and bear and i love it so it's got all these buckle details so this isn't actually a buckle so when i saw it on the on the website i thought you were going to have to like fully unbuckle this to get this over the zip but it's just a popper so i'm really happy about that and then obviously these ones are just for show but i really like it it's a really good size as well the only problem with denim bags i find is i need to find the right either denim to wear them with so the denims like match or you just don't wear denim with the bag at all so i feel like an all black outfit and an all white outfit or anything that doesn't have blue denim in it then it's fine but if you did want to wear it with a denim outfit i feel like if the denim's matte then that just looks so much better than having all your like mismatched denim so yeah i'm keeping this i think this was 19.99 um but obviously pull and bear have like student discount and everything but i thought that was quite a good price for this and that is the end of my haul thank you so much for watching overall fairly successful i'm only sending two things back out of all of it I'll leave the links to everything down below and also remember to check out my Instagram because I'm sure I'll be posting pictures in these outfits and I'll also have my links to everything over there as well in my highlights. Remember to subscribe for more hauls and vlogs and I'll see you in my next video.